Hi community, how's it going? This is Santiago, aka Time to Shine, and I am a drone photographer and filmmaker based in Melbourne, Australia. I've been traveling the world for the past seven years, and I've been lucky enough to visit over 35 countries, capturing its people, landscape, and cultures. Today, Luminar Neo has invited me to share some of my best kept hidden secrets when it comes to capturing and editing aerial photography. Luminar Neo is a powerful editing software combining AI tools to help us creators edit and further enhance the images that we capture. As a content creator managing multiple projects at the same time, Luminar Neo has helped me speed up the workflow without giving up on quality. Today, I am breaking down my editing approach around two images that I captured recently. Stay tuned until the end of the video as I'll be sharing some of my favorite AI tools that I found completely game changer and you can easily apply to any of your edits. So with no further ado, let's get to it. The first picture we're going to work on is an aerial picture that I took from Port of Melbourne. This was taken right before sunrise, so like a little bit of blue hour. I shot this as usual in auto exposure bracketing, which is basically capturing three images of the same scene with a slight different exposure. So to start, what I'm going to do is to select the three of them and I'm going to drag and drop it on the HDR merge feature over here. We're going to click on merge and this is going to result on a high dynamic range image that we can use as initial canvas to work on. So we're going to head to the edit section. I want to bring a little bit down the exposure, gonna bring down the shadows as well and then I'm gonna work on the curves. So I usually do an S curve that gives me a bit more of contrast on the images. Then I'm gonna work on the details as well and I'm going to sharpen the image a little bit more. Then we're going to head over to the color section. I'm going to start working on the hue, saturation and luminars panel. Now it's a good time to start playing with the AI tools that we can find in Luminar. One of them is structure over here. So as we can see, it gives like a bit of extra texture to the image. So we can do something like 15, let's say. So we got this option up here to play with the sky. Because this one was blue hour, I want to get something like a bit more dramatic. I think this one could be good. I think it really blends with the foreground. And we can also do some further adjustment to the sky. We can do one more thing before we wrap it up, which is playing with the twilight enhancer. I think I'll choose uh, Move. And it's always a little bit too much of the preset, so we can actually bring the exposure back up. We can change the temperature of the sky as well in something like this, that will do. Well, we can see how we change this completely from this to this. The second example we got right here is a vertical panorama I captured in Fuller's Bay in South Australia a few years back. This is one of my all-time favorite images, and this is a great image where I can show you some different features that we can use from Luminar Neo to speed up and to optimize the workflow. So when we shoot a vertical panorama, we're basically stitching different images to capture a bigger part of the scene. There are basically three different compositions shot in auto exposure bracketing. So we're gonna merge all of them together by using the panorama stitching option, which is down here on the right. We're going to drag and drop here in panorama stitching. We're going to press start. And in this case, I want to skip the high dynamic range. I just wanna get the vertical panorama itself. And on the top bottom left, we got a few different options that we can choose from to see which one give us the most accurate result and the less distorted image. I think I'm gonna stick to plain. I'm going to continue and voila. Within a few seconds, we got our vertical panorama. So this will be the initial canvas that we can start working on. We're gonna crop the image in four by five for social media, and they're gonna head over to the develop panel. So we're gonna bring down the exposure. We're going to bump up the contrast. We're gonna bring down the shadows, and then we're gonna do an S curve over here, something like this. And as we can see, the sky is a little bit like overexposed. It's a little bit blown out. So we're gonna use again the sky replacement. I'm gonna pick something similar to what we had, a little bit cloudy, but not too moody. Maybe this one, this one. I think this one does the job, so we're gonna stick to that one. On the sky, we can do some further adjustments. We can actually play with the brightness a little bit less. 
And then we're also gonna use the enhance feature over here. So the enhance brings that extra flavor. You could go all the way up, but I would just go here and say with the sky. So once we're finished with the enhance, we can also play with the structure over here. Brings a bit more of like texture to the image. I uh, will bump it up up to 15. And then one last thing I would like to do is playing with this option over here, which is a dodge and burn. So basically dodge and burn, what it does is to lighten the highlights and to darken a bit more the shadows. So we're gonna bring down the strength because we don't want to overdo it. And we're gonna start painting on the bright areas of the image. And then we're going to play with the dark areas over here. And we're going to start painting here too. And that's it. So we went from this to this. And it only took us a few minutes. As you can see, Luminar Neo provides us with a wide array of tools to further enhance the images that we capture in no time. We have utilized a combination of tools such as HDR Merge, Panorama Stitching, Generate Tool, Sky Replacement, and so on. Not only were we capable to achieve professional looking results, but also to optimize and speed up the workflow to get more done in less amount of time. That's all for me for now, but I'll be back very soon with some more tips and hacks on how to impulse your creativity with Luminar Neo. In the meantime, check some more tutorials and resources available in Luminar's YouTube channel and head over to their website to give the go for yourself. Fly safe and of course, don't forget to shine. I will see you in the next one.